And welcome back. Well, if you don't like who you're dating, you break up with them, right? But when you work in an office with someone who drives you nuts, you better figure out how to get along. A recent poll revealed the top office pet peeves, so we've invited the people <laughs> pro, Bob Bartline, to uh, help us out. And Barb is a clinical psychotherapist and workplace culture expert. And this is such a great topic because everybody who works in any kind of office environment where they are around any other people mm -hmm has probably experienced at least one of them. Clashes. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's, it's like sometimes people just bring whatever's bothering them and their rudeness and, and their problems and what I call crabby town, they just bring it to work. Yeah, they yeah. can just be annoying. Some of these things, let's kind of look at this list. So now you didn't create this list. This is actually from a consulting firm that did some research about what annoys people about their coworkers. <laughs> and one of them is clogging up email with personal comments and stupid jokes. You know, you really work in corporate cultures and you work with individuals you know, I'm guilty of doing these a little bit. Well, it, it, the problem is, is they take up a lot of time. Yeah. We all get too many emails in, anyways. And I, there's nothing I hate worse than one that I see forward, forward, forward. Oh, oh the too. worst. It's like, Awful. really, really, is this all uh, everybody has to do? Or the ones where if you don't respond, you have ruined the chain. Yeah. This is way too much responsibility. Yeah. Like I can't handle this. Forward to 15 heaven. people yes. to yeah. have good luck for seven years. Yes. Yeah, otherwise they're going to take your firstborn. No, yes. I can't deal with that. <laughs> too much pressure. This too much is, pressure. This one's my absolute biggest pet peeve in the office workplace, spending more time gabbing than working. Mm. And especially working in an environment where maybe you have um, desks at a joint or cubicles and people just stop in. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. so frustrating. The, the wanderers. Yes. You, you can spot them. They always carry a coffee cup like they're doing something. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and then if they want to be really, really like official looking, they carry a clipboard with it. <laughs> they're not fooling anybody. No. I got it. They're just wandering around. And they're it makes you wandering. want to duck away. Or one time I built a door for my cubicle in one of my jobs because I was like, don't come in unless my door is open. <laughs> I know I don't have a door, but I do now. But don't you think taking a break and having a little water cooler conversation or a little personal time actually helps you to be more productive throughout the day because you're not, you know, just... You know, sometimes I feel like taking that break focus. and doing that helps. Oh, oh, I think it can, but some people do it about eight hours. Yeah. <laughs> that becomes an issue. Yeah. Okay, this one, letting the copier run out of paper. That's one of the biggest pet peeves of people. <laughs> I can't stand it. I can't do you know? I mean, do, do these people know that they're not refilling sure papers? Sure they do. It hit the void, void, void button. <laughs> and and, there, and it says paper out, and then it shows where you put it. And they slink away again with their cup of coffee yeah. and pretend they didn't notice. <laughs> and then if you say, excuse me, but we're out of paper, they go, oh, I don't know how to do that. It isn't that hard. You open the drawer. You put it in. <laughs> I, I have been guilty before of saying, like, when our printer in the blend area hasn't worked, I've said, oh, it's not, I don't hear, I don't think it's printing. You know, <laughs> I know it's out of paper. Of and course, I, just, I do. I will go and fill it, Katie, because I know she's listening, but. I, I do do something that drives everybody crazy, and that is if I get something caught in my printer, I just simply rip it and shred it yes, in many, many directions, out. and then I call check, and they say, did you rip and shred it? And I go, no, it just came out that way. <laughs> I have no clue who it was. I have what no clue what happened here. No. Barb, we would work well together because we were having uh -huh. the same issues here. I do yeah. the same thing. Not returning messages mm -hmm. is another one. Oh, it drives one. me nuts. Big, big, it's, big yeah. no. You, you know, and really effective people kind of have a rule about that, like they're going to respond within a day or, yeah. mm -hmm. or 48 hours or something. Nothing is worse than getting so far in a project, you're just waiting for one answer or one piece of yeah. information nowhere to be found right mm -hmm. yeah so true and it's hard I think you know because your emails quickly get buried right you know to see what you haven't addressed at some point so you know Molly always talks about with her paper she has a one touch rule she gets it she touches it yep. one time deals with it and then puts it away and, puts and it I think away. you know you we could look at messages probably that way it might help that's very as effective well. yeah not cleaning up the microwave after using this 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 goes not only you know I'm sure at the office but also at home uh, really? Yeah. Do we need a mother at work? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody to wait on you. <laughs> so, I mean, and I've seen people that absolutely explode something in yeah. the microwave, and then they just take out their food and <laughs> eat it. 
And then you know what happens the next time around? It cooks on nicely. <laughs> yeah. And now it's stuck for days. Now it's multiple layers of stuff. And your food strangely smells like their food. Yeah. Strangely. yeah. <laughs> like, I don't even like people popping popcorn at work. I don't oh, really? either. The burnt no. popcorn smell is horrible. I love the smell of popcorn. I'd be all about that. But most of the time, they, they burn, burn it. it. Yeah. You know what it. the worst is? I was at a job once where someone would make broccoli for lunch in the microwave. I don't Do think so. Do we all know what broccoli being cooked smells like? I think it's it just was not nice. Avoid stinky food. Rude. Yeah. Yeah. Avoid, avoid stinky food. What about people who go in the refrigerator and eat your lunch? What's now that? that's happened to me. They go in your refrigerator and eat your lunch. Who feels like, like really? that's okay? Really, you don't know that's not your lunch? <laughs> really? <laughs> Is your life so disorganized you don't know your own lunch? Oh, uh, taking the last cup of coffee is a big one. Yeah. But let's talk about how you can be a good coworker because I think, you know, you probably have some good tips. Uh, obviously, courtesy is number one, right? It, it's, it's just really kind of basic. Basic courtesy, basic consideration. Uh, you know, kind of the rules you learned in kindergarten, clean up after yourself, mm -hmm. say please, say thank you. It's not that complicated. Yeah, mm -hmm. not so too go back, go back to your basics, essentially. It, exactly. Go back to the basics and try. I mean, we all at times are in a hurry and maybe we do mm -hmm. something rude. I get that. You know, uh, the old joke is have some old coffee cake laying in the kitchen. Somebody will eat it. We know that. Right. Mm -hmm. But try as much as possible to be considerate of other people. Yeah, I think that's a golden rule. It there is. we go. Absolutely. Well, here's where you can learn more about Barb. It's thepeoplepro.com. You can learn more about Barb Bartline or have her come out and talk to your workplace as well. <laughs> Thanks Thank for being you. here, Barb. My pleasure. <laughs>